Certainly glad you're with us today. I'm Chris Goodman. Dia is off this afternoon. We begin with some breaking news today in Lee County. One man convicted of two murders may possibly be connected to another death we're learning. The Three Forks tradition in Lee County is reporting that state police are looking into a retired teacher's death as a possible homicide. Conroy Deleuze joins us now live from Three Forks Regional Jail in Babyville with details. Yeah, Chris, right here on the front page of the paper, KSP, uh, they are reporting that KSP received a note from Melvin Sloan inside the Three Forks Regional Jail where he has been jailed since 2014. And that note had the name Reba Leader on it. And now KSP is looking into a possible investigation. Leader was living at September Place in Beattyville when she died in 2013 at the age of 92. According to her obituary, Leader was a teacher in Lee County Schools for more than 30 years. The newspaper said her cause of death was natural causes, but that people noticed her purse missing from her home at the time. Just one year later, Melvin Sloan was arrested and charged in the murder of 79-year-old Martha Holler. Police say Sloan shot Holler in the face and was seen on video walking toward her trailer 30 minutes before it caught fire. Now, Sloan was also convicted in a 70, 1979 murder and was later released. I just got off the phone with KSP a few minutes ago, and they said at this point there is no case and there is no connection that they can determine at this time between Sloan and Leader. Now, they have received a lot of rumors over the years, a lot of tips, and because it's part of their job, they said they have continued checking into those tips. But at this time, her death is still ruled as natural causes, and they're saying there is no connection between Sloan and Leader. We're going to continue following this story for you and have later on LH18 News starting at 4. We're covering the news live in Lee County.